Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem completely. Okay, I mean that we should bring out all the solutions. Okay, so what should we do first? Take x to the other side. So we have square root of x equal to 5 minus x. What will be the next step? Squaring both sides. So we have x squared to be equal to 5 minus x. And then we'll square this. I am squaring both sides because I want to remove the, um, the square root from here. This can go and then x will be equal to what we have here. Now let's show all the steps. This is 5 minus x and then we have 5 minus x again. x here is equal to 5 times 5 is 25 then 5 times minus x is minus 5 then we have x then um, minus x times 5 will give minus 5 x minus x times minus x will give plus x squared okay so this is what we have and then from there let me take a step further x will be equal to 25 minus 10x plus x squared. So now we are having the quadratic equation. So let this come first. So I'm going to write x squared, then minus 10x follows. Then this x here, since it's coming to the other side, it becomes minus x. And here we have plus 25 plus 25 this is still equal to 0 so from here x squared minus 11 x plus 25 is equal to 0 so now we have a quadratic equation and you might start thinking how you factorize this it's gonna waste your time by the way, it may not be factorizable, right? So we have to apply the formula method. Our a is equal to 1. Our b is equal to minus 11. And our c is equal to plus 25 or positive 25. You may not know how I get all of those. This is the coefficient of x, giving us 1 b is a coefficient of x giving us minus 11 by the way a is a coefficient of x squared okay and then c is the constant which is 25 now our formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this will be over 2a so what you will do now is to substitute right into the formula. So x will be in place of minus b, I'll have minus, then b itself is minus 11. So I have minus 11, then plus or minus. Here I'm going to have um, minus 11 squared. This is negative 11 squared. Then minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, then times 25. And then the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1, because a is 1. Now x will be equal to 11 plus or minus. Minus 11 squared will give 121, then minus... 4 times 1 times 25 will give 100. Then the whole of this will be over 2. Let me deal with what I have in the square root sign. 
x will be equal to 11 plus or minus square root of 21 because 121 minus 100 is 21 and this will be over 2 so what do I do from here remember that um, from here now we can say that our x is equal to 11 plus square root of 21 over 2 let's call this x1 okay and then we also have x2 which will be 11 minus square root of 21 over 2 and mind you we can equally have this in decimal right and having it in decimal means that we should get the square root of 21 let's get this very quickly okay to continue with this we have 11 plus um, 4.58 approximately over 2 and this will give 11 minus 4.58 and this will be over 2, right? Okay, so let me go down and write the values down again. Okay, so our x1 now, our x1 will be equal to, okay, so our x1 will be 15.58. Over 2 this is an approximated value right and this is equal to 7.79 this is an approximated value of x1 then our x2 will be 6.42 and then divided by 2 which will give um, 3.21 so these two values are approximated right now let's check which of them will satisfy the equation. The equation is root x plus x equal to 5, right? Okay, so if I work with the first value, it means that I'm having square root of um, square root of 7.79 plus 7.79 can this be equal to 5 and the answer is no because we already have this to be more than 5 so square root of this would definitely be more than what we are looking for but then let's try the other one square root of um, 3.21 plus 3.21 can this be approximately equal to 5 let me give it a try and um, we are very correct because this is approximately equal to 5. So it is our second solution, which is this, that satisfies the equation. And the first failed to satisfy. Thank you for watching.